Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you function f of x equal to e power x minus 1 for x less than 0 and sine of x for x greater than equal to 0 is continuous at the point x equal to 0. To do this, you need to recall what is the definition of a function is continuity continuous at a point. So let's go get a PowerPoint slide here. It's referring to David Brennan text, page 132-33. If f is function from an interval i to real number, and c is a point in the interval, we say that the function f is continuous at point c is for each sequence x of n, x of n in i, such that x of n converge to c, then we have f of x n converge to f of c. If this happens, then we say that function is continuous at the point C. So, let's try to figure out a solution for this. So, let's start with trying to contain an interval first. So, we have an interval. Let's start with i equal to the interval contains 0. So, let i equal to, say, from minus 1 to 1. So that the point C belongs to I. Now we are going to show that the function is continuous. We need to pick a sequence in, in the interval. The sequence converts to zero. Right, converts as the point C equal to zero here. Right, C equal to zero is the point. So let's try to see that the function is continuous on the left of zero. So let xn be a sequence inside the interval on the left of 0. Let's say this is minus r 0. Alright, let xn be a sequence from the left of 0. And then, and assume that xn converts to 0. Alright, that is when, okay, I should use the open interval. So that let xn be the sequence that is converse to zero. Now, what will happen to f of x n now? Now, x of f is because x n is less than zero, so f of x n, based on the definition, is e power x n minus one. E power x n minus one. Now, because exponential function as e power x is continuous. And x equal to zero. So e power x n converts to e power zero as x n converts to zero, which is one. Therefore, by combination rule for sequence, we we know that f of x n, which is equal to e power x n minus 1 converts to 1 minus 1, which is 0. So f of x n converts to 0. But then what is 0 now? Since f of 0 is equal to, according to the definition, f of 0 is, in this case, when x is equal to 0, the function is sine x. So f of 0 is sine 0. which is equal to zero. Therefore, we conclude from here that f of xn converts to zero, which is also f of zero. Right? So, we can make, let's write here. So, for, that means that for xn, in the interval from minus r to zero where r any positive number and then and xn converts to zero then f of xn converts to f of zero. Now this shows that the function this show function f of x is continuous at x equals zero from the left.
right? Now, but that is not enough to conclude that the function is continuous at x equal to 0. What we know is function continuous from the left of the law. Let's continue now. Recall that the function is continuous at a point. You need to show that any sequence in the interval such that xn converts to c where c equals 0 now, f of xn converts to f of c, which is f of the law. So let's go back to our working again. So now I'm going to pick another sequence now. So let's, the interval is still the same from minus 1 to 1. c is still point the law inside the interval. Now let yn be another sequence now. So let yn be another sequence. Right, from minus 1 to 1. In particular, I want yn be greater than 0. So n, let's say yn belong to 0 to r, where r is some positive number. So yn will greater than 0 now. And assume and also yn converge to 0. Now, what will happen to f of yn now? So f of yn is equal to since yn is more than 0, function greater than 0 is defined as sine x, right? The function for x greater than 0 is defined as sine x. So, f of yn is equal to sine of yn. And since sine x is a function continuous at 0, Therefore, sine of yn will converge to sine of 0, which is 0. But we already know, but we know that f of 0 is also 0. So, f of yn converge to f of 0 also. So, by looking at yn converge to 0 and f of, f of yn converge to f of 0, we conclude now we conclude that so conclusion so the function f of x is continuous at x equals the law from the right that means combining the 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 result we know that the function is continuous from the left of the law and function is continuous at the law from the right of the law. Therefore, conclude that the function f of x is continuous at x equal to 0. That is the end of this recording.